Well, it is Wednesday, the uh, 16th of June. It is three hours and uh, 42 minutes into the day. As I said before, I don't yawn uh, like this when I'm on the scooter, so the scooter vlogs are without the yawns. It's something about being indoors, something about uh, sitting here uh, as I speak. That's when the yawning begins. So <laughs> there is a physiological physiological component to this, but the, what it is exactly in terms of maybe a lack of oxygen, maybe a need to remove some carbon dioxide within my system. Uh, I'm not really too sure exactly why it is, what why what what the trigger is. Uh, just that it's there, and it's when I need to use uh, my lung capacity to speak. So, <laughs> it's associated with that. I've sort of narrowed that down. But anyways, uh, the week plods along. Uh, I'm working on my notebook still. There are still things that need to be done. Mm. And th th this is sort of the way things are, is that uh, although you do have some progress in the week, th th the progress isn't necessarily as quick as you would like. There are things that have to get done, so in between uh, different endpoints that you're getting to. Uh, I have an idea of where I'm going, sort of, right now. I've sort of got that pegged down. Uh, but it, in many cases, like, like I just talked about earlier today, it doesn't feel like I'm moving. It, feel like, it feels like that no progress is being made. But that's just the way it is. It, it, it's, it's, it's hard. The situation is very difficult to describe. The only way I could describe it, well, it comes to mind now, is the, the lockdown. When you're locked down and you can't move out of a situation, you're stuck in a situation. The only thing you can do is sit back and wait until the whole situation is over. That, that's the only way that this, sometimes that's the only option. And as long as your sit back, your, 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 your so-called time out, uh, has, uh, for me, my TV, my vlogs, uh, good food, and I did have good food. I was able to make uh, a lot of good food. Uh, then there's no particular issue Uh, so the lockdown is just a matter of sort of waiting. And this is sort of in between projects in terms of how things are moving. This is what it's like, but the thing is at the same time, because you have the overarching presence that you don't know where things are going in total. I know, in other words, the end point you're looking at is not necessarily a particular, it's not a specific end point in terms of being the final end point. Is simply a point that you're going to get to and know that you're at some point in time you're going to pass it and move on to the next point. And this is how projects work, work as well. They have segments to them where things move very quickly. You're finding a lot of information. You're jotting down a lot of information. You're, 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 you're pulling in a lot of information. But then the, the, the part that's sort of slow and mundane afterwards, you have to go back and catalog you have to catalog everything, and in the cataloging, you do the referencing, you do the indexing, and of course the cross-indexing. How does something relate to something else? Uh, 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 these things could, the, the, the indexing and cross-indexing can be very complex and uh, very time-consuming. And so th a large chunk of your time passes uh, in the sense, particularly in the summer where... Uh, you weren't expecting to do much, and then also the, there's the uh, the fatigue that comes along with it. And now, what I would call not necessarily the fatigue, but uh, the time shift. My time in terms of when I'm awake and when I'm asleep uh, has shifted again. So I'm um, now seem to be sort of starting the, the the new cycle, which is a new day at three o'clock in the morning. But I will be going back to bed around 6, 7. And that seems to be the new rhythm now. The last couple of days it's been like that. We'll see how long this remains. 
Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I'm going to go get some, sell something to eat. I have uh, this bread, the sweet bread that uh, dunks well in coffee, so I think I'm going to have that. And, uh, and then decide from there, as I'm watching the YouTube stroll, what to do next. Well, it is uh, oh, a couple of hours later. It's uh, three uh, six thirteen in the morning, six hours and thirteen minutes into the. Uh, uh, I, guess the I forgot. <laughs> into the sixteenth day is it? We're six, we're six hours and thirteen minutes into the sixteenth day of June, uh, twenty twenty one. Uh, I kind of forgot about the day and stuff like that. I don't know what it said last time, which was a couple hours ago. Anyways, uh, finished the YouTube stroll. Uh, made it all the way up to Clintus. It looks like I am catching up. Uh, the backlog is starting to clear. Uh, I do enjoy. I do enjoy the YouTube stroll. It, it is like visiting people. Is, I, I feel the same as when I was younger, and I wish to go, go, go visiting family. And you're going over to somebody's house, and you sort of just you know sit and you chat chat with them. You sort of see you know what they've been doing and hear about what what what's going on in their life. This is what a vlog is is in many cases like like visiting people, and you get to see different people from different uh, walks of life and different lifestyles, different ways they organize their house or the way they live their life, and it's something enjoyable and. Uh, my choice of vlog is always typically the family vlog, and uh, the what makes the difference of whether I stay or don't stay is not the games or the fun specifically, but rather the rapport between the f members of the family, the, how they 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 talk together, how they they interact with each other. That is, in many ways, the key to me staying and watching a vlog. It's not specifically the, the stunts or the different games or whatever. It's the rapport of the family. It's the the interaction between the, the various different family members. That's the key to why I would stay at a particular uh, vlog or and so on and so forth. And this is how I picked up my uh, YouTube, the base for the YouTube stroll. It, what I had been watching before. The, these are the shows that the the vlogs that uh, that uh, I had sort of picked up to as my baseline and then from there I added in terms of uh, my schedule I added uh, a sub paths underneath each one uh, Clintus because I was, he was always doing RVing I've got a whole RV section uh, underneath the uh, Clintus path so uh, anyways uh, it's on to gaming and meditation now and then I'll be heading back to bed it'll be the um, well, this is my weekend. This is the end of the week and the beginning of the week again. So, I'll be heading uh, back to bed to work in the other realm. Uh, and we'll sort of have to sort of see where things are going from here on out. So, I'll uh, talk to you uh, later. Well, it's just about uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's... Uh, 10 hours and uh, 55 minutes into the day of Wednesday, June uh, 16th, uh, 2020. And I can't sleep, but I did gonna get a package in, so we do have an uh, unboxing to do right here, or an unpackaging, or whatever you want to call it. You're up, you feel tired, like you want to go to bed, but when you go to bed, you can't sleep. The body won't shut down, so it keeps everything awake. And you know what this is? This is uh, what I hoped it would be. It's, uh, the headsets I'm going to be using for riding, the, uh, the ear pods. So I'll get these out.
Here is the instructions. Here is the device itself. I gotta take the uh, plastic off of this. That's done. Let's see, open it up now. Here we go. These are elongated. And see, these are the long ones. Apparently they do have a charge. At 99%. There we go. And it's picking up... Uh, so let's get this initiated as well. So we've got... Uh, good charge on both of them and uh, these are the ones I'm going to use on uh, the scooter uh, to do hands-free calling and stuff like that uh, what was I going to say and so you can actually see this through the case there it's visible th it's visible through the case let me see if I can get a see there's this glare from the screen but anyway I think you can kind of see this uh, you can see it through the case there. That's the that's the best method of doing this. Um, yeah, it charges. It charges through USB, the micro USB, and these are ten dollars, so they're easy to replace. Uh, so anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here and sort of this will be the, uh, sort of the, uh, trial of this and I'll let you know how it ends up working out and we'll go from there. Alrighty, we'll see you in a bit. Well, we are back here once again. It is now 21 hours and 32, uh, minutes into the 16th day of June. Uh, I finished the meditation, I did the gaming, uh, I've got something to eat, I've got my, uh, basically, it's the, uh, this is, it's, this is the iced tea, uh, the milk tea, I have it with, as milk tea, and chipettes, so it's going to be milk and chocolate, milk tea and chocolate, that's going to be my dinner, uh, while I begin the YouTube stroll, so I'm going to queue that up, and queue up the YouTube stroll. Uh, I'll start back with the Yowie Vlogs, because the Yowie Vlogs is where we always start, and typically, because they post every day, uh, there should be something up by now, uh, so we start back at the Yowie Vlogs, uh, then we'll go to It's Our Life, in other words, there's a path that you go on, uh, what, I, what I call a path, and uh, <clears throat> usually, but I'm not, I don't have anything, uh, I, I'm probably going to be finishing around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe later, uh, we'll see how that ends up going because I've got to finish up the back door in terms of the ceiling, uh, the uh, that's the caulking that has to go in. That has to be finished up today, uh, so it will be dried for tomorrow. And then the last aspect of the um, the last aspect of the screen door will be finished tomorrow. So. Uh, the back door will be completely done. And they'll be able, able to easily open and close it. So, uh, that's the goal. That's the intention for now. And, uh, uh we're gonna kind of have to sort of wait and see to see how this ends up, uh, uh, finishing up. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. And, um, we will see you, uh, in a couple hours. Well, it is uh, one hour and 43 minutes into the 17th day of June, uh, 2020, and uh, we're transitioning again. We've finished uh, uh, the meditation and the gaming as well. Uh, and now, he heading off into the final transition, which is to the bed. Uh, a different track this t today than it was yesterday. Uh, I got a lot of work done.
today it was a, it's I got the, uh, the 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 adhesive uh, caulking um, done for the back door that's more or less done I did run into a bit of a problem that I'm gonna have to sit down and work do a work around tomorrow uh, so it's gonna delay the project a little bit but not too much and not too badly uh, it's been cold these last few days. Uh, it's been going around in the evening. It's been going down to around 55 degrees, uh, 50 degrees uh, Fahrenheit between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is cold for this time of year. But uh, uh, not complaining too much. The, the the air system that I have in now, which brings in the the cold air from the outside, doesn't use electricity. It uses the natural airflow to bring in a good amount of air. Uh, and it balances the system out that way using the natural flow of heat through the system. Uh, and I'm able to cool the place to a significant degree so that even when it gets hot out during the day, uh, the place isn't too bad because it still has to warm up from <laughs> the day before when it was cold. So, uh, or the period before, because it's not even just a day, it's not even a day, just uh, the period before. So it is working out well, and I looked into one of the, my observatory has more than one different views uh, of what's actually going on, and so I have, I've sort of delved into that. I'm going to have to readjust my uh, record keeping again uh, in the notebook on that area to to sort of reflect some of the newer understandings that have that have sort of come in. Uh, and that's the way it is. It's notebook work. It's financial work. It's uh, doing some writing, doing some uh, sort of marketing, advertising, sort of making yourself present, make, present, making yourself known, and these different things uh, form up the different, various different tasks of the day. And you know, there's a, there's a, this point right now, this is where my eyes are, are 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 forcing shut. I can't do any more work, and so that's it for the day. <laughs> so. When I get up next, we'll see, and then uh, we will transition from there back into maybe you know maybe an hour or two of work, and then go back to bed again. It really depends on where my where my sleep pattern is going to be, and I have no idea how that ends up because it changes almost every single night. I should say every time I go to bed because there is no particular night and there's no particular day when I'm going to time. There's no particular nighttime for for bedtime. In other words, nighttime does not always equal bedtime. Sometimes it could be six o'clock in the morning. Sometimes it could be eight o'clock in the morning. Sometimes noon. Like today, one of the reasons why I'm off schedule today, I didn't get to bed until noon. The final shutdown, where I didn't have any more tasks to sort of pop up and pull me out of bed didn't occur until just about noon and so I slept from noon till about seven o'clock in the evening uh, got up did uh, and as you said I just saw did, did my gaming and so on and so forth and uh, now it's two o'clock in the morning and uh, time to transition back to bed we'll see what happens in my sleep let's see uh, what else sort of goes on and how I sort of adjust to things. Uh, anyways, with that last yawn and the closing eyes, I think it's time uh, to say see you later. <laughs>